What's going on guys? It's Wrath, and uh, right now I'm just going to go over a few quick things that are, are going to be a little bit beneficial to everyone that's just now getting into the game. So before we do anything, we're going to go right to where you need to go when we, after you complete a quest. So this is where you'll go. You'll go to um, this little tower beacon thing. And this is where you'll collect all of your cores that you get from completing quests and killing monsters, as well as the cores that the game automatically gives you. Uh, if you have a Founders Pack, or a uh, Slayer Pack, or a Hero Pack. This is where you'll collect all of those. Okay? You talk to this lady over here, and she has specific quests for you in the beginning of the game. So, right now she's telling me to check my journal, look around for quests, because I've done all the quests that she's asked Keep for. Your eyes open. Okay? This is where all the quests that you will be able to um, pick up, and there's a few of these around the map. So, well, look. I can hunt a Rogue Nasher. I can hunt a Rogue Shrike, a regular Nasher, uh, an Embermane, a Shrike, a Rogue Charog, and a Rogue Drask. So those are all the monsters that I have unlocked so far. Those definitely aren't all the ones that are unlocked in the game. Now over here is where you will talk, talk to a guy, to and this guy will either give you a quest, and right now I don't have any quests for him because I've completed them all, now make or he proud. will give you a um, be able to craft some items. So right now I only have four different uh, recipes. I have stamina potions, which require um, aether whips and fruit sap. I have healing potions, aether whips and turtle grass, berserker potions that need dart weed and white cap mushrooms, and a revived talisman, which is because it needs a phoenix opal and a health potion. So that lets you revive yourself in combat. The berserker potion increases damage but lowers your resistance. Healing potion obviously heals you, and a stamina potion increases the speed of which your stamina replenishes. See you soon, okay. Skip. So those guys are pretty beneficial for you in the early game. You can't really do too much without going to that lady or going to the quest counter. Now, going further on up here, uh, go up the staircase. And uh, if you look on the top of the screen, you'll see a little um, compass map that's telling me which way I need to go. So we went up the stairs, and we came immediately to our right. And this is where you will go to talk to the blacksmith. And he will Welcome let you upgrade armor. Smithy. Or, sorry, upgrade weapons or create weapons. So currently these are the weapons I can create. The Nasher Blade, the Borrowed Sword, or a Drask Weapon. Okay? So, Remember, and it also shows you all the items that you'll need. And in the bottom of the screen it shows you how many you need. So, I need five of those, one of those, two more of those, and one more of those before I can create that. Foreman okay? Continuing on over here, uh, right in front of the tower it has a little armor. And that will let you know that this is the armor smith. So a few of these guys have the same armor as me. I'm actually wearing the, um, gosh, the Nasher armor. I created that, and most of you will be able to create that pretty fairly soon in the beginning of the game. Because it pretty much makes you kill that thing a couple times. And she'll also give you a few quests. Right now, I can either create the Nasher set, a Borrowed set, or the Scout armor set. So those are all decent armors, but still can't create the ones that I want to create. So just like I said earlier, there are little um, podiums for collecting quests all throughout the map. And we'll talk to these guys over here. Let us talk a moment. So she'll give you a quest too. I, th I think this opens up uh, when the game launches. I'm not so Glad sure though. Here. Good luck, but they'll both give you quests. And if you're not sure where to go, and if you still have quests you need to get done, just look at the top of the screen where it says South right in front of me, and uh, let's look around. And if there's an arrow or an ex exclamation point, that will be where you need to go. So just follow those. So these are where the trans transmog place will be. So when it's here. time to use transmogs, you can come over here. So I have lots of um, different recipes, Remember but I can't really use that gone. yet. And um, there's some quests okay, clear, that he'll give you later too. But I don't think the transmogs will be available until either the open beta or the actual game launch. So those are a few of the major places you need to go. You can also come over here. Now, I'm not sure exactly what this is for. I've never been over here, to be honest with you. Um, but yeah, guys, I hope that was helpful. Uh, I'll actually release another video talking about items in the game. I have a moment, but just the one. This is your ship right, right here, and he's not really giving I us anything either. Which, there's not going to be too much to do other than that. Those are pretty much your basic things you're going to need to know. Uh, where to create your armor where to collect your materials, where to create some potions, where to take your quests, and where to create weapons and upgrade weapons. So that's pretty much it for this video. I'm trying to make it as short as possible. Um, and yeah, guys, thanks for watching. And 
before the day's over, I'll also release um, an in-game guide on how to uh, collect certain items throughout the map. So just like uh, I was showing, I'll show you different little nodes and places where you need to collect the items to upgrade your weapons or to make potions or different things like that. So thanks for watching. Uh, hopefully you got a little bit of a um, an idea of how the realm is set up here and it helped you in some way. So uh, if you aren't too busy later on, if you aren't playing the game, I suggest you come watch me play the game and we'll talk and hang out and have a good time. Uh, you can go check me out on Wrath's Wasteland, W-R-A-T-H-S Wasteland on Twist.tv. I'll put a link in the description of this video and you can come check me out. I'll be there till way late tonight. So yeah, uh, I'll see you over there. I'm trying to keep this as short as I possibly can so I can get back to it. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Thanks for watching. Thanks for coming out and uh, hanging out with me. And I hope to see you on Twitch before too long. So, it's been Wrath. And I'll see you guys in the Shadow Dolls. Later.